did I really upset Jason Statham? Yeah, I genuinely think I did. And I will show you footage uh, very shortly of the very incident I'm talking about. Uh, I do want to be honest though. I want to tell you that if you're hoping to see footage of Mr. Statham squaring up against me uh, before kicking my ass, I'm afraid that's not what happened. As much as some people would love to see that, I'm sure. But I definitely think I said something to him that he didn't like. And just to give a bit of context as to how I came face to face with this big action star. I used to work for a company called Three's A Crowd and they did red carpet interviews. And I did two whole shifts uh, and then the company went bust. I like to think that's not because of me. Uh, I, I like to think that I wasn't that bad that the company was like, sorry, we've got to, we've got to close down. He has tarnished our reputation. Although, I really weren't good at it at all. And um, before I show you the footage as well, please keep in mind, I was much younger when I did this. Uh, it was my first time doing a red carpet interview. Uh, so basically, I was just really nervous. Now, it was for a film called The Bank Job. And prior to the red carpet interviews, uh, all the interviewees, we were given one rule. Do not talk about his ex-girlfriend, Kelly Brook. So I didn't, uh, but it would seem that I mentioned the second subject that he did not like discussing. I'll tell you what, let's watch the footage together and you'll see what I mean. I haven't seen this in a long time. We're in London, it's 1971, and there has just been a bank robbery, the this worst in UK history. Millions of pounds have been stolen and secret documents, and we're gonna find out what those documents are. In fact, it's 2008, and we're here at the world premiere in Leicester. 2008? Blimey, I didn't know it was that long ago. Jason Statham and Saffron Burrows play two of the thieves in his true story, directed by Roger Donaldson. A thing that stands out here from other heist movies is the criminals are the most innocent... Do you know what? I still haven't watched this film yet. That's terrible. I did the red carpet interview. Maybe I didn't want it to bring back these uh, terrible memories. A record of every payment I've ever... Is it a good film? Should I watch it? Let me know in the comments below. And I think we can safely assume it's now in the possession of the robbers. Director Roger Donaldson explained how, for him, it was a welcome return to the thriller genre. It goes back to movies I did like uh, No Way Out. And, uh, Do you know, as an as, as an inspi aspiring filmmaker, uh, I actually get more excited about meeting people that are behind the scenes. Colin Salmon also seemed to have enjoyed Legend. himself. I like the script, yeah, but uh, also I enjoy working. And I always wanted to have hair and a beard, so that was... And compared to all the heist movies out there, what makes this one so different? I think Do the fact I sound it's like in London, that? I think there's an element of a vein of truth in it. I think we haven't really looked at that world. Yeah, it makes it a bit sexy. And having, you know, we've got Saffron in there kicking ass and Hatties in there doing their business. So the girls are instrumental in all this as well. So. A surprise turnout on the red carpet Did was not Sir Anthony this. Hopkins. Roger Donaldson is a great director. He's a friend of mine and we've done two movies together. And I don't know anything about this one, but he, uh, he phoned up... And I was buzzing. Right, so yeah for days so. being that close to a legend. So we wondered whether Jason Statham might be interested in filling us in on the details of the plot. Uh, not really, no, uh, absolutely not. Uh, this one we try to make a drama, you know, we wasn't so interested in sort of hitting people on the head. In your modelling days, did you ever see yourself acting when you was younger? Not really. Finally, it was left. And that's it. I did try to stress that he doesn't particularly get angry, but clearly uh, he didn't like the fact I brought up his modelling days. Um, definitely, definitely a sensitive subject. Uh, so if you ever get the chance to interview Jason Statham, don't mention Kelly Brook, uh, don't mention modelling, because he will shut your ass down and just walk away as fast as he can. I don't know why he's so embarrassed about it. He's a good looking guy. There's no shame in modeling. I guess it just goes against his whole, you know, strong man persona. But yeah, he was in fact a model uh, when he was discovered and offered a role in Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. Nothing to be ashamed of. I think that's quite a cool fact, but there you go. Uh, I remember actually applying for a job at a radio station and I showed them this video as an example of some media work that I've done. And uh, when the Jason Statham bit 
popped up. I could see him squirm and he went, ooh, that was a bit awkward. Yeah. Yeah, it really was. In your modeling days, did you ever see yourself acting when you was younger? Not really. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. We're in London, it's 1971, and there has just been a bank robbery, the worst in UK history. Millions of pounds have been stolen and secret documents, and we're going to find out what those documents are. In fact, it's 2008, and we're here at the world premiere in Leicester Square of the bank job. Jason Statham and Saffron Burrows play two of the thieves in his true story, directed by Roger Donaldson. A thing that stands out here from other heist movies is the criminals are the most innocent people involved. Little did they realise they'd also taken secret documents that were never meant to have been seen. I have a ledger, a record of every payment I've ever made to you and your colleagues. It was in my safety deposit box. And I think we can safely assume it's now in the possession of the robbers. Director Roger Donaldson explained how, for him, it was a welcome return to the thriller genre. It goes back to movies I did like uh, No Way Out and uh, The Recruit, uh, movies that are sort of set in, uh, you know, reality. Um, and, uh, you know, I had, a, I had a great time here in London making this film. Colin Salmon also seemed to have enjoyed himself. I like the script, yeah, but uh, also I enjoy working. And I always wanted to have hair and a beard, so that was... And compared to all the heist movies out there, what makes this one so different? Well, I think the fact it's set in London, I think there's an element of a vein of truth in it. I think we haven't really looked at that world. Yeah, it makes it a bit sexy. And having, you know, we've got Saffron in there kicking ass and Hatties in there doing their business. So the girls are instrumental in all this as well. So. A surprise turnout on the red carpet was Sir Anthony Hopkins. Roger Donaldson is a great director. He's a friend of mine and we've done two movies together. And I don't know anything about this one, but he... Uh, he phoned up and invited me here tonight, so here we are. Obviously, Sir Anthony can help us, so we wondered whether Jason Statham might be interested in filling us in on the details of the plot. Uh, not really, no. Uh, absolutely not. Uh, this one we try to make a drama, you know. We wasn't so interested in sort of hitting people on the head. In your modelling days, did you ever see yourself acting when you were younger? Not really. Finally, it was left to housewife's favourite Peter Balls to give us a hint at his role in the film. Um, I'm head of MI5. Um, so I, I uh, bring a D notice and uh, organise the robbery. And uh, I'm sure you won't be, but last of all, my mum wanted me to pass on a message. If you ever are stuck on a date, she's very interested. <laughs> That's very nice. Thank you very much. What's your mum's name? Her name's Jill. Give Jill my love. And thank you very much indeed. Thank, thank you. you. So, with the cast and crew given little away, I guess we'll have to find out the whole story when the film goes on general release on February the 28th. Conspiracy theories have always made entertaining movies, so let's hope this one's no exception.